The coronavirus emergency forced organizations everywhere to change how they operate and adopt new safety guidelines. In Tucson, that includes the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. It helps about 200,000 people each year, and in the coming weeks, it anticipates that need will grow. Tony Pañagua has more. Somebody has a copy. Green beans. Green beans. Low sodium green beans. That's fantastic. Yep. The food bank is not a fast food restaurant, but it is taking a lesson from the same playbook. Residents who receive food bags or boxes now pick them up via drive through It's a method that went into effect this week to minimize person-to-person -person contact indoors, where people used to line up. We're rolling those out across southern Arizona. We serve five counties. The reason we're doing the mobile distribution and the drive throughs is we want to follow the CDC's recommendation, minimize physical contact, optimize social distancing. We've got volunteers to put the food in your car and you're on your way. The only thing we would ask is patience because the lines can get long and we want people to be safe and patient with each other. In addition to the drive through system, the food bank canceled Farm to Table. It is one of the group's most important annual fundraising programs that was scheduled for March 28th. The food bank is also postponing a major renovation in its warehouse on Country Club Road. This corner in the facility was slated to be under construction right now, but this too shall wait. The coronavirus is shifting priorities. We said, hey, Maybe we shouldn't be remodeling and ripping up this warehouse right now to put a giant cooler in during a pandemic. Even though the international pandemic requires adaptability, diligence and patience, people can't postpone eating, so the food bank's programs remain pivotal. For a Tucson resident who recently lost her job, the emergency food assistance is indispensable. I'm lucky I have a pretty strong work history. Then at first I wasn't too concerned because I have a strong resume. Then everything happened and, um, you know, people aren't hiring as they were, not in the field that I, you know, not in the work that I do. It's a little scary, you know, I'm doing the DoorDash thing right now, trying to make ends meet, things like that. So trying to get some kind of income because aside from the food, you know, there's still utilities, there's still gas, there's still insurance for the vehicles, things like that, that, that are not going to go away. Moving forward, the food bank is trying to keep operations as normal as possible considering the circumstances. Staff members are stepping up wherever they can and the organization put out a call for volunteers. Have a good day. An invaluable resource that makes this all possible. So young people, it's, time, it's your time. If you're 16 years of age, you're bored at home. You're a Pima College student, you're a U of A student. There's only so much of being at home. We need you. If you're healthy, you're young, you're strong, Community Food Bank is here. I find this very enriching. I, I'm doing my part. That's how I feel. That with my financial contributions and, um, and the skill set that I have prior to coming in here, this is something that, that I like to do. I think it's a really great help for the community. I think you know, a lot of people you know there's a lot of need, a lot of people need it, um, especially now with everything that's going on. Um, you know, things are getting scarce and not enough groceries in the stores and stuff like that. So I think it's a really needed service for our community. Have a good day now. The food bank is also asking for hands-free donations. Instead of bringing food to the warehouse, staff prefer people go online to communityfoodbank.org and make a monetary donation from home.